Or I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Okay. okay. Hi, I'm Jay Super. I'm a body teacher. I'm here to talk to you about plants. Plants are amazing. I think they're way cooler than animals, but they do have some problems that animals don't have to deal with. When it comes to reproduction, animals can run around, they can find each other, uh, it's pretty easy for them to get together and, and mix their sperm and egg. But with plants being rooted in the ground, they have a difficult, they have an issue of getting the pollen from one plant to the other. And so usually they come up with these elaborate structures to trick or maybe trap an animal to kind of do that for them. Uh, we call these flowers. The flower part produces the seeds. Um, after the seeds are produced, there's a second problem, and that's dispersal of the offspring. For us, it's not a problem. Uh, our offspring run away to college and take our DNA with them. With plants, though, if they didn't have some structure or some strategy to disperse their offspring, their, their offspring would be right at their feet, and they would compete with them for food and water and, and all the things that plants need. So today, I've got a couple of different seed pods that I want to show you. Most seed pods are in some way, shape, or form uh, a way to disperse the seeds so that they'll get far away from the parents and, and hopefully um, spread their DNA into a different environment. Um, seed pods are very, very cool. There are thousands and thousands of different kinds. I brought a couple to show you today. Um, one of my favorites is this one. It's called the unicorn plant. It's a very stinky plant. Uh, it's kind of hairy and sort of sticky, but it's called the unicorn plant because of this big curved horn. What's really cool about the unicorn plant is when this green pod dries out, it splits into two like this. And then they call them devil's claws. And devil's claws, you can see these very sharp little hooks, are designed to hook on the bottom of your leg. If you were a cow or a deer or even a human walking through, they, ha they latch on and then as you're walking, the seeds fall out. And again, you do that plant a big favor by spreading the seeds all over the place. So devil's claw is one of my favorites. Um, another one that we've got is, this is called indigo wild indigo, and it actually is a beautiful flower, but then it makes these great little seed pods. I don't know if you can hear that. It, it rattles in the wind. Um, I've heard, don't know if it's true or not, but Native Americans used to use these as little rattles for their, for their babies. This one is velvet leaf. Velvet leaf has, well, like the name says, very soft, fuzzy leaves. The flowers kind of look like little tiny hibiscus, but when they're done, they make these really cool seed pods. They have this great little geometric pattern to them. Uh, they too are kind of designed to wave in the wind and they fling seeds everywhere. This is, it's called Leavenworth Orangium. Most people aren't familiar with it. We call it the purple pineapple plant because it looks like a purple pineapple. It looks kind of like a thistle, but it's actually a relative of the carrot. Um, this bright purple color attracts the insects. It really doesn't have petals, it has colored leaves. Um, once this is done, this pineapple part has seeds with little fluffy parts on them. And as soon as the wind or something bumps into it, they kind of fall apart and they float in the wind and they, they disperse for long distances. But it's a beautiful little little plant, kind of a neat one. This one is um, moonflower or jimson weed. And the moonflower comes from, the, this is one of the flowers right here. They only open at night, great big white flowers. But when the flowers are done reproducing, the pod is this big spiky thing. Um, one, the spiky kind of keeps animals from eating it, chewing on it. That's a problem that a lot of plants have. They produce these offspring and then the seeds just get eaten. But this thing actually will, will stick to different animals, uh, bust open, and then the seeds will come out of it. It's a uh, fairly strong hallucinogenic, but it also will make you violently sick, so I wouldn't eat it if I were you. But it's another one of our interesting ones. I would encourage you to go online, look in a book, and just find some of the interesting things that are out here. I've got a collection of various things. Most of these are, are tropical. This is one of my favorites. This is a um, water lily. This is a water lily seed pot. They float, the seeds come out of the middle, they get knocked out, they'll actually float downstream somewhere and plant a water lily. But there's a lot of different seed pots. I would encourage you just to check them out and find one that's interesting to you. Okay. This is uh, Leavenworth Orangium. Um, most of us just call it the purple pineapple plant though. This one is jimson weed, also known as moonflower. It has these giant white flowers that bloom at night, and these really interesting seed pods that are very spiky, very sharp. This one is velvet leaf. Velvet leaf has very soft, fuzzy leaves, um, hibiscus-like flowers, and then these amazing little seed pods that open up in the top with this cool geometric pattern and fling seeds out everywhere. This one is the uh, wild indigo, beautiful dark cobalt blue flowers but then these really neat little uh, rattling seed pods when they're done. And this one is uh, in the screen stage. This is uh, 
the unicorn plant. Uh, this is also edible. The pioneers used to pickle this and eat it like a pickle. Once it dries out and, and splits into two like this, they call it devil's claw. It's designed to kind of hook onto you and then spread the seeds out everywhere. This one is a water lily. They grow in ponds and uh, lakes and things like that. Oops.